Hey everyone, this is Hearst Quasar. Doing something a little different today. We're going to go through a playthrough from the very beginning. I've already created my new game profile. So, let's just jump into it. And we're going to do it in a normal mode. So you have the normal mode, and the normal mode without the tutorial. Sandbox mode where you have everything. In an expert mode, uh, which I haven't played with yet, but maybe we will one of these days. We'll jump right into the normal mode so you will see what you've got going on here. Oh, the music. Okay, so make sure you read this greeting. Okay, it says, Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. See the new fully unlocked garage and check out the operation of various parts at the workshop. You can finish the, the tutorial by taking the car for a test drive at any time. Good luck. So, what they're showing you here is everything that you can have in your garage eventually when you get to it. Alright? So you got a spring compressor here. Over here you have a test path. You can test out your car's brakes and suspension. You have a workbench over here that repairs parts. Over here you have a phone, you can take orders, you'll take orders, you'll get points, you'll get skill level, you'll get money. Over here is your computer, in the very beginning you have to use the computer to get all your order, all your parts for the cars that you have to repair. You hear the music, right? Yeah. I'm not digging it either. I'm turning the radio off. All right, over here is your engine stand. This is uh, once you get up in the higher levels, you can build an engine right on it, or you can put an engine on it to get better accessibility to it to build it. You have various toolboxes around the shop, and this is um, where you can trade in your uh, skill points for upgrades and the like. Your oil drain. This is what you use to drain oil with out of a vehicle. Um, right here is your parts warehouse. You can store all kinds of parts in this warehouse. Over here you have a paint booth. You can paint your cars and paint rims now. It's cool. This is another toolbox. It doesn't look like a toolbox, but it is a toolbox, trust me. Over here is a dyno. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once you get a car all built, you can throw it in here, come over here to the computer, and run the dyno. And I'll show you your car's horsepower and torque. This is a detailing toolkit, so you can clean up the inside of the car. Um, it does clean up some of the uh, chrome pieces on a car too, so don't forget that. Battery charger, if you've got a bad battery, you can throw it on the charger and it'll recharge it for you. At no cost, isn't that nice? Uh, other things around here is the engine crane. This takes the whole engine out of the car. Of course, you have to dismantle the transmission to bring it out. Your welder here repairs um, your car to full niceness, as you can see there. Very nice. Uh, let's see, another toolbox over here. Inside your office, you have another computer. Computer there, and that computer there. So you can order parts from any of these computers. Uh, upstairs, not a whole lot. There's really nothing up here to play with, but it does give you a nice view of your garage from up here. Uh, let's see, what if I missed anything? The garage. This will give you a custom garage look. So if you're looking to change up your garage, um, you select what you want to change. Floor B, and you have your options. Don't know what it's changing. Don't know which one floor B is. Floor A should be the main one. There you go. So you can go with different types of flooring. Cool colors. Checkerboard, that's always cool for a... Uh, Nice retro look. You hit apply. You can change up the, the 
garage. You can change the pillars, you can change the walls, you can change the cabinets. There's a whole lot of things you can change with that. Well, let's see, I think we've covered all the bits and pieces. Uh, over here, you've got a tire changer and wheel balancer. So the one side removes the tire or puts the char tire back on it and the other side balances it, of course. Uh, out here is your parking. So in my main, I have all levels unlocked. So you have essentially 14 levels, 12 cars per level to store. So once you get into restoring cars, you want to keep them. Um, that's where you want to park them. So I think that's about it. I think we've covered all of the bases here. So that's what the garage will ultimately look like. The size anyway. So you see these drains here that were blue? Hey, I think I, I, think I figured that one out. Okay, so floor B. Let's see. Yeah, it changes the coloring of the drains. So the flooring around the drains here gets changed. Uh, I think that's about it for this. So right now you can do one of two things here. You can try and fix up this old beater and get it running. Of course, you only have, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you only have $4,000 to work with. Not a whole lot of money. And it's kind of hard to find out if you right click on the car. Um, it gives you a list of you know, everything in the car. But you're only showing the percentage of these items for right now. Which is probably all the body areas. You can um, examine parts to see what they are. Of course, orange is almost bad. Red is totally bad. Valve covers are bad. There's a few things you can uh, examine, a few things you can't. So you can't examine that. You have to take it off the car. Same with the heads. Um, spark plug wires, can't. Eventually you'll get to a point to where you have these Test tools, test tools, test tools. Where are my tools? There they are. So you could test like your fuel pressure. Uh, see if you have a bad fuel pump on it. Or we can test like the electrical. Gives you, eh, for the most part, it looks like the electrical is not in too bad a shape. Uh, let's see what else can we test? Uh, compression tester, that's always a good one. Yeah, this, this car is not going anywhere. Look at that. Got a few things that are in bad shape here. Crankshaft's bad. A lot of the pistons are bad. So, really, this is not going to be worth trying to fix. So, I guess we'll just leave that. But, we do want to take this one for a test drive. So, let's see here. Now, if you go to take this for a test drive, right? This tells you this is where you go out to take a test drive. And you can go out here to various maps. This is how you get to your junkyard. You'll just have the junkyard, auctions, um, and your test track in the car salon. Car salon is where you buy new cars. Junkyards, of course, where you buy junk cars. Car auctions is exactly what it is. You bid on cars. And the test track takes tests your suspension, brakes, uh, steering, and pretty much your suspension. 
So if we want to go to the test track, we're going to take the main all-wheel drive. It tells me I have no oil in it. Well, doesn't that bite? So if you do ever have a car in the garage you want to take it out, you can't take it out. It'll tell you why you can't take it out. So this one, I have to fill it full of oil. Now you can fill the oil up on the engines until it just kind of makes a burp. And it dips down a little bit like that. And just escape out of there. All right. So I believe I've run you through just about all the parts that are in the shop. Again, your toolboxes will tell you all of your um, upgrades. And this will give you your available skill points so you can burn to get those upgraded areas. So let's take this out to the test track. Now remember taking this out to the test track will have us leave the tutorial so we will be when we are done it'll put us back into our own garage. Now using the WASD keys like I said this is text out the car's performance, steering, suspension and braking. Here we go. Can I go through these? Whoa, brakes are not that good. All right. Oh, I didn't see any of the. Let's go back over here, shall we? See, I missed that one. Oh, 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 man. I tell you what, this customer is not going to be happy. Do a small drift test. Stop. So that's done. So from here you can either finish the tutorial and start the game or if you don't want to finish the tutorial and go back into it, play around with it some more, um, you select no and you go back into the tutorial. But we're going to bounce out. And this is what we're left with. This is your garage of what's the beginnings of your career. <laughs> oh, the beginnings of your career. All right, so we only have $4,000. We're just starting out. We're renting this place out. We've bought it. Well, let's, just, let's just say this. Let's put the backstory as we've bought the place. We've hung up our brand new banner. And now, well, we need to take some orders. So what do we have here? We have poor brake performance on this one. The lots. Oh, now we do have story missions in there. So once you get done with the story missions, I believe there's 35 of them, if not more. You can correct me in the comments below. Uh, so you can just kind of read through it. It's just kind of fun. A year and a half ago, I bought this car for my son. He said he's not interested in anything except for driving it and occasionally filling it up at the gas station. Ha! Ha ha! That was so me. All right. So please check the oil and the tires. So we'll help this guy out. Son's car needs some needs some stuff. So right click on it. We'll move the car over to our lift. it up on the lift and he wants us to change the oil in it and the tires so you click on this one time it lifts it up a little bit you click on it a second time it takes it all the way up so you can get underneath of it click on that click on moving it and that's where you want it to be is underneath one 
Take down the oil and then use the equipment to drain the oil. Move it back to its original spot. He said the tires are bad on this, so we'll... Wow, you know, I am so used to the level I am on in my other game. I do not realize just how slow this can be. This is actually kind of painful. Again, what you do is you click on the piece you want, it'll highlight in green. Right click to add or mount the part, and just click and hold the mouse button down until you get the yellow outlines. You know, you'll be able to take those pieces off. Another thing you can do is actually right click on the car and go to the car status, and this will tell you everything needs to be done to it. So, these tires, oh, it needs a fuel filter and an air filter. It needs an oil change. Rain old and refill with new. Should really add an oil filter to that too, dear dude. But, uh, you didn't ask for it? I'm not spending the money on it. So, over here, we're going to separate the tires. Yeah, these tires are in sad shape. Let's see, what size tires were those? 205-55-16s. Two hundred five, fifty-five, sixteen. So, we'll go back to our computer. Let's go to our tire shop. Standard tire B. Four of them. Or two hundred five, fifty-fives. So, with this tire size, is your rim size, your width. 205 is how wide the tire is and your profile is your space between your rim and the bottom of the tire so the bigger the number the bigger the space okay so hopefully that'll help you out when you're trying to get tires and especially with these types of jobs you want to replace them with the same tires that way you're not wasting needless money on you know, nice tires, nice rims on a vehicle for a person. You just don't have the money for it. <laughs> so we've got the old tires off. We're going to mount up some new tires. That's a nice tail there. I've never noticed a tail there before. Over in the wheel balancer, you click on it, and it'll automatically select the tire that has not been balanced. So let's see here. Um, so you click on that once to bring it down to eye level here. Pop the hood on this thing. Let's see, we need a. Uh, yeah, the air fuel filter is in bad shape. Here's your air filter. To take it off, you have to take these clips off. There's four of them. There's the cover. There's the air filter. Alright, back to our computer. We order some parts. So, just to give you an idea of what you have here. You have rims tires these are your performance parts so you need the performance DLC to get that custom gear boxes which is free also these are all your normal parts these are license plates these are additional body parts for the in-game cars um, body shop are the standard parts for your in-game cars all the interiors and the community cars body shop is any car that you've downloaded from the workshop that is where you're going to find that's where you're going to find those parts okay so we're going to go in here we need the air filter 
You do have a search bar up here. Type in fuel, hit enter, get fuel filter. Back here to see how our tires are doing. Yeah. Okay, two balanced, two to go. We want to install, not un uninstall, so back over here while those tires are doing their thing. Uh, add the fuel filter. Add the air filter. Driver. And again, don't replace any parts that you don't necessarily have to replace because, like I said, you're starting out. You're a small business owner trying to watch them pennies. Okay, so we know that's all done. Got at least two tires balanced. Get the last one mounted up here. And while that's doing its thing, we will mount up at least a couple of these tires. balancer is probably the longest thing in this game I, in my opinion it takes forever it seems like to balance a wheel so you heard that little beep beep in the background that is telling you that you've got an order coming in on the phone Did I put oil in that? I think I did. Anyway, for your lift, your left mouse button, just click and hold it down. Take your lift all the way down. Okay, so I don't know if I did or not, so guess what? You have an oil dipstick right here that you can pull out. Ha! I didn't put any oil in it. Let's put some oil in it. It's always good to check your oil, people. Alright, so that should be good to go. And to double check it if you right click on the car and go to the car status, it'll tell you all the things that were fixed. And everything is good. You finish up the order. We spent $963. We got a $917 as a bonus. Um, job bonus is 471 for the total payout of 2351. So we'll finish up that order and we'll see that we have a little over five grand in our bank account now. Nice. Experience, we're at 138 of 300. Still on level one, so we're still making our way up there. We'll knock out one more. Uh, well, I only have one more. Four breaks. Okay, so. We'll take that order. Now, because we don't know, um, we don't know how bad the brakes are, right? And we don't want, we just want to replace what we need to replace. We're watching our pennies, right? So what we are going to do is we're going to take it to the test track. The test track will tell us What's wrong with you? The suspension of the brakes or the steering? Oh my. 
This car cannot get out of its own way. Wow. Brakes don't seem too bad to me. This car has no horsepower. Running through the bumps just to test out the suspension. Oh my. I think I felt a shock penetrate the, the hull of the car. Okay. So. Now that we've done that, when we take it back into the garage, we should have a good, pretty good idea of what we need to do. This gives you a rundown of everything. Uh, everything, that's the suspension. Not so much on the brakes. I see nothing on the brakes. Hmm. All right. So it just tells you brake caliber and pads. <laughs> do you know what brake caliber and which pads? No. Neither do I. And I was hoping the test bath, the test bath was going to help us. So guess what? This is going to be a little painful. So let's take a look. It said rotor pads two sets of pads and if you look right inside there you'll see the rotor now the rotors that are like really bad like that's probably a bad rotor right there see how badly it was rusted that one's got some rust on it but it's not completely rusted uh, same with this one back here it's not completely rusted so we know this one's going to be bad Click on it, get it green. And if you right click on it and go to your examine mode, I'll show you yep, that caliper and that pad is bad. Now, it didn't show me in that list, but that definitely shows me what's wrong. So let's go over here. Look to the inside, take a look at that brake caliper. Uh, that's yellow. Brake pads. Those are yellow. That's not bad. Okay, so take an examine back here. Take a look at that brake caliper. And the pads. Yeah, that's in good shape. Alright. Look at this. You can get in there. Oh, see, the brake pad is bad. Caliper is good. Brake pad's bad. So, I'm going to have to take this wheel off. So, now we know where our two pads are and where our caliper is. We'll take that off. Pads off of this side. Those rotors are in bad shape. Go ahead and take this caliper off. And we'll take the brake pads off. So if you go into your inventory, see everything gets collected up. So what you should do in between jobs is sell off all the stuff you don't need. All the old parts, that gives you a little bit of cash. Not much. It does give you a little bit of cash. So this caliper was okay. This cylinder is okay. That cylinder is okay. So we need two sets of pads and a brake caliper. All right. Up here, and then we just narrow it down by brakes. Get one caliper. We'll get two sets of pads. Now that we've done that, what I always like to do is go back into my inventory and get rid of the bad items. Anything that's in red. 
And it did give me a little more cash for that stuff, so that's good. And we'll go into assemble mode. Put our new pads on. Put our new bag caliper in there. Oh, did I just sell the wheels for that? Oh, no, I did, didn't I? I thought it was the wheels from the other car. Oh, am I a dork. All right. Well, guess what? I'm going to lose out on some money. You do that kind of stuff, you lose out on some money. Okay. So, what do we need here? The classic 16 rim. What a bummer. Classic 16, 205, 45, 16. So, yeah, that kind of bites. But that, you know, that's what happens. So we'll find our classic 16 rim. 16 inch, we want two of them. We got 200 bucks, I could have spent someplace else. Uh, what kind of tires were those? I don't know without taking them off. Hang on. It's a plastic rim, which is a standard tire. Okay, so a standard tire. Do them. Oh, jeez. 205.45. We need two of them. Look at that. 500 bucks down the drain. And time. And time. So now I've got to go over here and mount and balance these puppies. Oh, that was such a dork move. But you learn from experience, right? guy's getting a new set of tires on his car at no charge to him because I'm not going to get the payout for it nice new wheels on a rusty old car Well, I got a little extra points for at least taking a couple of tires off that I didn't need to. How's that? And we'll put the new ones on the back. Why not? Again, one click, bring it down, click and hold to take it to the ground. Uh, right click, see if we got, yep, we got the calipers, yep, everything's good. See, we only got $231, so we really lost out on 200 bucks, 300 bucks. That just kind of bites. That really bites. So we're at experience 255 of 300. So, and I mean, that's what we would end up doing, is just keep doing this. We've got brakes, more brakes. <sighs> brakes are always the hardest thing. Um, we'll take one more order before we wrap it up, and we'll get it into... Oh, look at that paint job on this bad boy. Yikes. That's with the green. Alright. So, 
We've got a list. Brick disc, pads, and ABS module. Okay. So we do have disc and pads. So we know that for sure. So now we'll do doing some inspection here. And the module. Brake modules underneath the hood here. Should be along the firewall. That don't look bad. Boy, that doesn't look bad. Um, yeah, it's 65%. It shouldn't be that bad. So there was an ABS module. I thought there was an ABS module underneath here somewhere. That's what it said, right? ABS module. Hmm. Where is the ABS module? Oh, I see it. Down there. See it now? Alright. Proof. Gonna be near had to be underneath the hood somewhere. So you have two pieces of this. You have the module. And then you have the pump. So the module's bad. Go ahead and replace the module real quick. Go to our regular parts. Under brakes. We'll get the module. 700 smackerinis for that one. Wow. Alright, let's get down in here. We're gonna mount it. Whoa. Got in there too close. Again, I'm going to try to only repair or replace anything I need to be done. Okay, so that's done. Let's send this up and see if we can take a look at the calipers here. It's examine mode. Calipers good. Ads are good there. Like that might be bad. Nope. Guess not. Get in here to the brake pads. No, that's good shape too. Also down in the lower left hand corner you can see the the condition of the parts. They're both in good decent shape. Must be in the back here. Um, no, we don't want to do that. To examine. Good shape. Uh, pads. Those pads need to be replaced. So, go ahead and take that off. And I'm going to assume it's the other side, too. We'll take a look over here. To examine mode. Are good. Pads are good. That was only. Let's see. Break disc. Oh, break disc. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's in bad shape. Let's remove it. Alright, so good. It's only on one wheel. So, we're going to need a break disc. And a set of pads. Now these two ventilated is usually up front. These are usually in the back. So ventilated is always almost always in the front of the car. Don't get those two screwed too messed up. Uh I'm gonna go into symbol mode. Brand new set of pads, and we're gonna give it back its brake caliper. Now, really, in real life, you would replace all the pads, all the discs. But, like I said, you're a small business owner. You're watching your pennies. You're just 
You're just doing what the customer wants at this point. That paint job is crazy. Take a look. Looks like we've completed everything. Uh, Twelve uh, thousand two hundred fourteen dollar payout. We'll finish up the order. All right. If you look in the upper right hand corner, we have reached level two with 370 experience. So what we will do is we'll go over our toolbox. Well, yeah, we've got one skill point available. So any of these skill points here. So faster screwing or faster part examination. Um, hey, I complained about the slow screwing. So I'm going with that. I'm going with that one. So you just unlock it. You're good to go. That's it. All right. Well, that'll be it for now. And, I mean, all you do is just go to your nifty phone here. Start pulling up some repairs. And here's another storyline that maybe we'll get to later. But for now, this is my lonely garage. This is Hearst Quasar. And I am out.